Dear Jesus, we thank you for this beautiful morning. Thank you for the creation that you have gifted us with. With each day a new blessing, Lord. Just as the sun rises, Lord, so does your love for us. You're a good, good father. It's who you are. It's who you are. It's who you are. And I'm loved by you. It's who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. You're a good, good father. It's who you are. It's who you are. Are and I'm loved by you. It's who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. Heavenly Father, we come before you this morning, particularly aware of your great love. And Lord, we're so appreciative that. You love us in such a way that you have no conditions, you have no contract, Lord. You, your love is freely given and guaranteed. And so, Lord, we open ourselves to that love this morning and, and open our spirits to you and say, come with your spirit, Lord. Come and fill us with your great love so we may too in turn love greatly as you have shown us. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Paul talks about God's unconditional love in Romans. And in chapter 8 he says, I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels nor powers, nor things present nor things to come, there's no height nor depth nor anything created shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. And this is a beautiful thing, the unconditional love of God that is not based on our efforts. It's not based on what we do. We cannot earn it, but it is given freely. But there are also times in our life where our circumstances and our situations may not make us feel like we are loved. We may not feel the love of God through what's happening in our life. And I remember a particular time in my life where I felt quite distant from God. And it was a time when my wife was pregnant with our third and fourth child. We were expecting twins, but we were told that this pregnancy was rather uncertain. And so we did what we thought was best and we trusted in God and we asked everyone to pray for us. But it was at 26 weeks in the pregnancy that our doctor took us in and said, these babies have to come today. And so we were quite unsure and we were quite afraid. But at the same time, we still tried to trust in God and ask people to pray for us. And at 26 weeks, our twin girls, Hannah Rose and Ellie Grace, were both born. And Hannah was only one kilogram, and Ellie Grace was only 695 grams. And it was a very scary time for us. And as the girls were rushed into the intensive care unit, I remember saying to God, God, I, I trust in you. Whatever your will be done. And during those first few weeks, which turned into a few months, it felt like there were some days where prayers were answered and it felt like other days where we were just unsure of what to expect. And at three months, we had a great joy that Hannah, after three months in hospital, was able to come home. But at the same time, Ellie, after three months, she was quite sick at that time. And there was one particular day where my wife came home with Hannah and we got a call from the doctors as soon as she arrived saying, please come back in as quick as you can. And so we went back to the hospital, very worried, um, unsure of what was happening. And when we arrived and were taken to Ellie, the first thing I noticed was she was so swollen and she'd been sedated 
and she was connected to a whole lot of machines. And, and the doctor said to us, look, Ellie has a very serious blood infection and we've treated her with antibiotics, but we're not really sure what will happen. And so we sat by Ellie's bedside and we waited and prayed. And it was late into the night that a doctor came to us and said, if you haven't had Ellie baptized and you want to, you need to do it now. And we realized how serious it was and we called up our priest and he came out in the middle of the night, about one or two in the morning. And we had a makeshift baptism by her bedside in the hospital. And in a way, we said our goodbyes to Ellie. And the following morning, things were still the same. She was still under sedation and still connected to the machines. And I had to drive home to collect our other children. And I remember as I was driving home in the car and the, on the radio, a song came on and the words struck me. The words were, you're a good, good father. That's who you are and I'm loved by you, that's who I am. And these words confronted me because I was not feeling it. I was not feeling that God was good, that what I was experiencing was not a good thing. That I was loved by God, I felt let down by God. I felt we trusted God and for all to be taken away now. But as the song went on, a small voice inside me was saying, Matt, you need to hear this, you need to embrace this. And so as it went on and through my tears, by the end of the song, I was in a way able to say, yes, God, you are still good. And yes, God, I'm still loved by you. And as we sing this song now this morning, I encourage you to reach out in whatever situation you're in. If your situation is not showing you that God's love you, I encourage you to stand on God's word that there's nothing can separate us from God and that God is a good Father and that you are loved by God this morning. And to open yourself as those words wash over you. Because you're the anchor in the waves You're my shelter from the storm You're a light unto the darkness For you are the Lord of all you're the anchor in the waves You're my shelter from the storm You're a light unto the darkness For you are the Lord of all Like a shepherd in the storm You are my refuge I'm in your arms Like a shepherd in the storm, you are my refuge, I'm in your arms, yes of this I am sure, that nothing can separate your love from me. And after a long journey, Ellie came home from hospital and we call her our little miracle, and she came home on her first birthday. But what's really special about that time was that God showed me and led me to know his love in a time where my situation was totally opposite. And we can hold on to that truth that God loves us. It doesn't matter our situation, it doesn't matter our circumstance. We can be sure that there's nothing that can separate us from God. So let's pray that this morning. Lord God, we thank you for your love. Lord, we thank you that you love us even though we are at times broken. And at times this broken world can make us feel so lost. And so we reach out to you, Lord, and ask you to fill us with your great love. Lord, we trust that your love is always with us. And we surrender ourselves to you. Thank you, Father. Amen. Yes, of this I am sure. Nothing can separate your love from me Yes, of this I am sure Nothing can separate your love from me Yes, of this I am sure Nothing can separate your love from from me
Are you searching for fulfillment? <laughs> Discover true happiness. Stay tuned to Shalom World. <laughs>